Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Truth Council 23. With me, Truth Nunez, and our spiritual council. We're so honored, grateful, and thankful to be here with all of you to share today's collective energetic read. The number 11 stood out. The number 14 stood out as well. Um, welcome, welcome to everybody. Um, welcome. We are so thankful. We're honored. We're uh, so thankful to be here. Um, your majesties. Okay, your majesties. Who are you making me? We just ate breakfast, my lovies. Excuse me. But um, welcome, your majesties. Welcome to your collective energetic read. Keeping in mind, we're reading collective energy. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You are and forever will be the masters of your experiences of what you will or what you will not into this creation. We are going to go ahead and get started right away by honoring and thanking our spiritual council and honoring all of you. Uh, and uh, I welcome everybody. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome to everyone. Um, it is with great honor that we do this work. Um, um, and we want to honor our MVP. So I want to start by honoring all, all of our spiritual counsel, um, all of those trusted energies that protect and love and guide you um, and guide us. I want to honor my grandmama, Abuelita Gladys, and something about Russell and something about russet potatoes. Um, I want to honor my Abuelita Gladys Nunez Maldonado. I also want to honor my Abuelito Felix Antonio Nunez. I invite you to do the same. I do honor and thank your trusted ancestors, those that protect and love and guide you. You can honor whatever religious form Force, whatever spiritual force whatever makes you feel good grounded and connected to the all as you are in this experience uh, you can also take a moment of silence to be in silence with yourselves and that's also more than enough let's get started my lovies the name Russell the name Rosemary but strong Russell Russell and now I'm getting to that <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh what's up with the throat chakra and Russell Jesus I'm getting do the hustle. Dun, 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 do the hustle. Dun, 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 dun. A wrestle can be a hustler. Every day. You know you gotta hustle. I'm a hustler. I'm a I'm a hustler, baby. I got the product narcotics for the customers, homies. Uh fiends oh, something, something, something like a muffler, homie. Niggas phony, so I only got a, f a couple of homies. Uh, if you a hustler, I could I could fuck with you, homie. Okay, hustlers. For some, somebody's a hustler. <laughs> Take care how it resonates, my lovies. I am just your channeler, your humble channeler. Every day, you know you gotta hustle. I'm a hustler. I'm a I'm a hustler, baby. Dun, 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 dun. All right, hustlers. Got the products, narcotics for the customers, homie. Fiends open, something, something like uh, smoking like a muffalo, homie. Niggas phony, so I only got a couple of homies. If you a hustler, I could, I could fuck with you, homie. Boom, my lovies. <laughs> Has the energy present? I'm just the messenger. <laughs> you a hustler? You a, a hustler, homie? It's funny, he says niggas phony, but he's out here hustling and the fiends that are smoking like a muffler, destroying minds. What is phony? What does phony mean to him in that situation? He's out here destroying minds. Well, but they're a hustler. They're a, they're a hustler, homie. Got the product narcotics, my lovies. Damn. My lovey, some Diana, Deanne, someone bit their, their tongue. Ow, my lovey. Somebody bit their tongue on the Who were you talking shit about, my lovies? Or somebody around you? Um Spirit made somebody bite their tongue. Somebody bit their tongue on the right side. It hurt. It really hurt. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Alright, my lovies. Spirit's like, uh-uh, no, no bullshit. Someone bit the crap out of their tongue, my love. He's like, I'm seeing blood. Someone bit the crap out of their tongue. Boom. 
Se mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Maldonado. Se mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Maldonado. Se mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Maldonado. Oh, they're about to. <laughs> Se mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Maldonado. Se mi abuelito Félix. It's recent. Someone did something recently to the, the, the right side of their tongue. Se mi abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. Se mi abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. Se mi abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. Se mi mamá Merce. Se mi mamá Merce. Se mi mamá Merce. Se Shango. Se Shango. To Shango, to Yemaya. The name Chrissy, the name Chrissy came in in the preliminary for some. To Yemaya, to Yemaya, to Papa Legba, <clears throat> to Papa Legba, to Papa Legba, to Elegua, to Elegua, to Elegua, to Oshun, to Oshun, to Oshun, to Ogun, to Ogun, to Ogun, <sighs> to Ochosi. To ocho sí, to ocho sí. To la Santa Muerte, to la Santa Muerte, to la Santa Muerte. To Archangel Michael, to Archangel Michael, to Archangel Michael, to Archangel Gabriel, to Archangel Gabriel, to Archangel Gabriel, to Archangel Raphael, to Archangel Raphael, to Archangel Raphael, to Archangel Uriel, to Archangel Uriel, to Archangel Uriel, to Maat. To Maat, to Maat, to Kalima, to Kalima, to Kalima, to Sekhmet, to Sekhmet, to Sekhmet, to the all, <clears throat> to all of the trusted ancestors that protect and love and guide us. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? To the all, to the unconditional love, <laughs> to the trusted ancestors that protect and love and guide us. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? To the all, to all of the trusted ancestors that protect and love and guide us. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? To the all, to your unconditional love and your wisdom, to your all-knowing, to your all-being, to your all-seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? To the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all-knowing, all-being, all-seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? To the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all-knowing, to your all-being, to your all-seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most lo loving messages? In love and truth and wisdom, in love and truth and courage, in love and truth and honor, in love and truth and wisdom, in love and truth and courage, in love and truth and honor, in love and truth and wisdom, in love and truth and courage, in love and truth and honor. What is up? What is up? What is up? Hot stuff. How's it flowing? 747. Where y'all going, my lovies? How's it flowing? How's it going? What's popping? It was cracking because we are reading for my darlings. We're reading for my darlings. We're reading for my darlings. Reading for my darlings. We're reading for you, my darlings. It is true. We are reading for Saturn's Day, the day of Saturn. Uh, Saturn's Day, um, Saturday. Uh, not December 21st, but for some of you, December 21st, or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, we are actually reading for not November 21st, but for some of you, November 21st could be significant. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, uh, but we are actually, and an Aquarius for others and for your brothers, uh, but we are actually reading for Saturn's day, January uh, 20th, 2023, going into Sun's day, January 21st, 2020. Three. Um, so 20 energy is a state of duality. So two energy is a state of duality. Uh, great for harmonious relationships. Great for intimate partnerships when two people, it could be two friends, it could be two entities, it could be two uh, corporations, it could be uh, two people negotiating something or two groups of business partners negotiating something. Two entities that are that are collaborating. Um, two energy is great for for two parties coming together um it's not so great for three party situations four party situations even five party so for some of you you could be feeling very intimate maybe you can be feeling like you want to either be by yourself 
with your experience um, or you want to be maybe just with your significant other or close friends or close people to you because uh, I am feeling very cocoon for some of you you could be feeling like very like cocoon for some of you you could be feeling very relaxed I'm getting chillax you could be chillaxing this Saturn's day because there are delays in a situation anyway and on Sun's day the day of clarity the, the day of the Sun the day of Delilah for some um, you have clarity you have a new uh, you have a, a new beginning for some of you you have a new beginning uh, but the 21 energy is uh, three energy in numerology 21 divisions for some of you the 21 divisions could be significant if you know what I'm talking about um for others three energy is a collaboration maybe for some of you you could be in cooperative efforts uh, over this sun's day um, and going into this heptad with that energy which is nice because on moon day you're gonna have more delays for energy brings in more delays for energy is great for um, establishing things um, but the 22nd technically is a master number so you also have double duality for some of you there could be a lot of decisions that are being made right now a lot of things are up in the air for some of you there's a lease that's up in the air for some of you there's a lisa that's up in the air for some of you uh you're just trying to negotiate maybe you're trying to keep things close to home because uh maybe for some of you you just there are things that are just really up in the air everything feels just up in the air there is going to be a release for some but maybe closer to the beginning of february uh, maybe even into mid-february for some right now everything is just very up in the air 1101 1101 so closer to the mid uh, mid February mark you'll see a new split but maybe for some right now you have to kind of you want to keep it's almost like playing poker and keeping your cards really close to you um, because you don't want to necessarily know you don't want to necessarily know maybe for some of you you don't want to know if they're playing you keep it on the low shit because your heart can't take it anymore my lovies that's how you feel and if they're creeping you don't want it to let it show because you're in some type of karmic relationship and you don't want to let go and it just shows that you gotta move on and just be strong <laughs> I love you, my lovies. It's just, it's just coming in. I'm just a messenger. I, I sing the songs of life um, for you and your wife, for some of you. But um, it's all right, my lovies. Uh, you have some type of delay, and then there's like some type of everybody's going to go their separate ways. 1220, uh, 1222. Okay, 1222, December 22nd could be significant for some. St. Nick could have been significant for some. But I saw 1211 and 1212. Um, boom. These two wanted to speak with you, my lovey. So we'll start with these. Um, they wanted to speak. We haven't taken a look at them yet. I was seeing a page of pentacles in my mind's eye. So for some of you, uh, you may be waiting on some type of financial opportunity as well, or you're going to get communication from somebody that's going to talk to you about a potential partnership or something small. It's nothing too big. Ooh, because you got projects. Spirit gave us the seven of hearts uh, in the preliminary as well. So for some of you, you have projects. You have new beginning. But seven of hearts is in the reverse. So uh, seven of cups energy as well here. Uh, and then seven of hearts energy. Um, in the 32, seven of hearts is a new beginning. It's a celebration. Okay, for some of you, it's a celebration. You're waiting on some type of news for a celebration. Uh, it keeps coming in, but that's not what I necessarily want to say. But spirit keeps giving it to us so for some of you a celebration for some of you a new beginning a reconciliation or a pregnancy seven of hearts energy is a new beginning a reconciliation or a pregnancy but for some the seven of cups is also in the esoterico they have also put the seven of cups here so for some of you you're getting out of your fears when it comes to confusion maybe also i am getting fears of your peers so maybe for some of you you've already decided something uh d despite or in spite of um opposition for some of you, maybe there was a lot of confusion. Maybe there were a lot of options. Maybe for some of you, here we go with the stock options. You got to choose stock options for some. Or you have to reevaluate your portfolio for some. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But um, for some of you, you may have already made a choice or you will be making a choice. And it's all related to your projects. Les projets, los proyectos. You got proyectos, you got projects. Les projets. So for some of you, you have some projects that you're trying to work on. You're already, you've made the decision. Something about Denise something about the baby the baby is an artist 
Yeah, you made the decision. The King of Swords, Archangel Michael. Uh, Archangel Michael came in strong. The King of Swords, powerful person, a teacher, and harsh lessons. For some of you, uh, there is someone who is making a decision. A King of Swords can also be a lawyer. It could also be an official of some sort. So if it's not you making the decision, someone's going to make the decision for you, my loveys. Take that how it resonates. We do have a King of Swords here. Uh, this could be an official. Again, it could be a professional man. It could be someone in a, a, a position of authority to make decisions. Uh, maybe for some of you, that is going to teach you some type of harsh lesson. Maybe for some of you, you're working with an Aries because I am getting Aries. In the preliminary, the, the emperor also um, came out. So maybe for some of you, this is a father in a position of power or this isn't some type of a institution or in a company or in an organization. Someone has made the decision, whether they like it or not. That's how it's coming in. Okay, for some of you, someone's putting their foot down. Whether they like it or not, the decision is made and there are harsh lessons to be learned from this decision that was made. Because maybe a lot of games were played as well because the Seven of Cups in the reverse, meaning there was some type of confusion or maybe illusions or maybe even for some of you, if somebody, this energy of drinking someone could be getting treatment for some type of like addiction or some type of of substance abuse or something that they're doing with drinking um and there's a professional person involved in this situation and there are harsh lessons to be learned but someone will learn the lesson which is a good thing uh we have a powerful a powerful person here we go with this percy energy a teacher and harsh lessons well that was interesting my lovies Spirit gave us, uh, with the emperor, for some of you, if there's something that you're asking for in an organization, and maybe you were getting the runaround when it comes to a situation or in a work situation, someone will be making the decision. And something about Wilmer and something about Wilhelmina. Yeah, in an organization. For some of you, when it comes to an accommodation, because I'm getting this accommodation energy. It's been in and out the last week or so. Uh, your health, removal of blockages, and an unnecessary worry. The surgeon in this tarot, this is uh, technically the hierophant. So this could be in an organization. It could be in a medical institution. For some of you, there could be a surgery that you need to um, go through or someone around you, and they need to get some type of like permission or uh, for some disability or some type of like accommodation and everything's going to be fine. Don't worry. For some of you, if you are worried about a decision that's going to be made, everything is going to be all right. Maybe there's going to be a lesson learned from this. But no matter what, there's unnecessary worry. For some of you, there's unnecessary worry about a situation. It could also have to do with a higher level commitment or a higher level engagement, but a decision will be made, especially when it comes to legal documents or something that has to do with an organization for some, maybe for some even a religious institution, something needs to be made, something about Trisha. Boom. Or Trish. Five of Swords energy, a loss, Jesus. And there's a religious institution or a religious person, el sacerdote, some type of pastor or priest involved in a situation. But we got a loss for some. And the other side is your health, la, san la sante, la sante, la sante, and uh, la salud. For some of you, your health or someone's health around you. For some of you, five of swords. For some of you, it almost feels like someone's like on some type of treatment plan and they're not doing what they're supposed to do and it's really affecting their health negatively. Take what resonates. Something about negative Nelly. Someone could be like, some, something about someone's belly. I'm seeing like an older female with a really swollen belly. This could be like a, an ancestor. It's an ancestor. Here we go. And here we go. Annie. An ancestor Annie for some. Marie. I'm getting the name Marie. Someone's not taking care of their body. That's what's coming in. And it's like they're being naughty. And it's like. Five of Swords energy. I'm getting like. The aspect of the Five of Swords when someone's like, I'm going to do what I want no matter what the consequences are. And the consequences may be actually a decline in health. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And a loss. La perte. 
Perdida. Five of Swords energy. But for others, sneaky behavior, people trying to get away with something. When I saw the Seven of Cups in the reverse, it's almost like people were trying to, like, when I said the decision was made, because somebody has to be, like, an adult around a bunch of adults that were kind of playing a game. Someone's like, the decision is made and that is it. Make a decision, offer the thing, close the deal, whatever it is, or make the accommodation or do whatever it is you need to do. But the decision is made. But someone was playing a game, maybe going back and forth, maybe Five of Swords energy is envious energy. It's very uh, conniving, very deceiving energy. Um, not wanting to admit one's faults or not wanting to admit when when one needs to just admit defeat or just you know kind of submit to something or succumb to something uh somebody was trying to or a group take it how it resonates like for some it's like someone was trying to make something or a group were trying to make something more difficult when it came to a decision than it needed to be and no matter what and this is going to affect their health at some point and maybe for some somebody's even going to bite the shit out of their fucking tongue because because it hurts someone bit the crap out of their tongue in a community three of pentacles people working together in some type of collaboration but someone's noble or, or or a noble person is going to the name noble could be significant for some um and something about a nobel something about nobel nobel prize could be significant somebody could be looking into nobel prizes or something about nobel prizes coming in but three of pentacles is some type of collaboration community um kind of working together for some i did feel again it's like Maybe you have to get something done or something needs to get done or a decision needs to be made, but there are too many games that are being played. And maybe for some of you, it's because for some, somebody abuses substances outside of work. So it does, it's, there's some type of an impairment when it comes to judgment. So five of swords energy, they, they kind of resort to like, I don't know, like I'm getting, a, I don't know why I'm getting backhanded compliments. Take that how it resonates. Boom. The Baraja wanted to speak with you too, my lovies. The Baraja wants to speak with you too. Are we going to work with the 32, my lovies? I'm saying no, not today. The 32 will not be speaking to you today, my lovies. Who's gray? Gray's anatomy and who is gray? Something about Sean Gray. Something about gray. gray um, I'm seeing Greyhound. For some of you, you may need to travel at a distance. I'm getting um, Securitas. That could be significant for some. Or Garda. In three days, something coming in very quickly. You got a three-day period for some. Uh, in a work situation, we feel that. There's deceit in a work situation and mortification in a work situation for some. Uh, you got something that's familiar to you. For some of you, you can work with family. For some of you, there is a familiar situation in a work. 2211. By the 22nd, something can be cleared up for some. But 2211, there's a familiar situation in a work situation. Uh, for some of you, you could work with family or you'll be doing something laborious with your family. But for some of you, um, there's something that you are, it's like something that's pending um, until the 22nd. We are family. Dum -dum 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 I'm getting 11, 33, and 44. Those numbers could be significant for some. We are fam 47 and 46, 43. The number five. Dum -dum 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 -dum. We got money. Opening up with money. That tasted funny. Something tastes like Barbie. For some, somebody likes Barbies. There's a child around you. Somebody likes Barbies. But I'm tasting something funky. This almost tastes like lipstick. There could be something about Barbies and lipstick. And some type of deceit in a situation. We got an obligation here. We got money and an obligation. We have happiness when it comes to one, an arrangement. For some of you, if somebody's going to have a hospitalization or like a little bit of sick time, everything's going to be all right. For some of you, uh, love, yay. We got love, we got a child. For some of you, you'll be spending time with a child that you love. For some of you, this could be your daughter, que linda. For some of you, a lot of conversations. For some of you, you could have conversations that worry you. For some of you, there is addiction in the field. For some of you, there's some type of an addiction when it comes to uh, a female, take that how it resonates. 
and a man too so take how it resonates for some of you you have a celebration when it comes to a work situation again you will be making some type of an arrangement it's going to make you very happy for some of you if you have to arrange something with an ex or someone that you have a child with but you're not with and you have to accommodate something when it comes to a child everything's going to be all right especially so you can work for some of you uh travels for work satisfaction so you can get your satisfaction for some of you you're gonna be totally fine however there is something that's on somebody's mind that may not have your best interest in mind take that how it resonates there's somebody a professional person or someone that considers themselves your rival in a situation and something about arrivals for some of you you have to take a flight somewhere or you're gonna be traveling at a distance for some of you you can be getting a new vehicle I'm getting a new vehicle for some of you you're getting a 2447 uh, it was sent from heaven the number 66 could be for some the number 65 for some of you there's a retiree in your field or someone that recently retired uh and we got a hit for hire and someone got fired here we go with this shit but um for some of you there's an arrangement when it comes to money it's gonna make you very happy for some of you if you there is a hospitalization here as well for some so if it's you or someone around you that needs to be hospitalized everything's gonna be all right for some of you if you work in the medical facility and you need some type of an accommodation for a situation uh everything's gonna be all right there's going to be an arrangement for some of you there there are intentions of traveling at a distance for some of you especially when it comes to distant travel when it comes to work for some of you you can work on a big campus or like in a uh, um again a company where it's a huge property for some of you you're gonna celebrate something when it comes to a loving situation for some of you um again for some someone's gonna get some type of medical treatment professional help when it comes to professional they're gonna get a medical treatment that's gonna help them uh heal their belief systems for some of you, there's medical treatment here. For some of you, you're going to be working on projects that you love throughout the next couple of days. For some of you, you'll be spending a lot of time. I did feel that, again, with people that are very close to you that you love. For some of you, again, um, an arrangement when it comes to money is going to make you feel very good. Because for some of you, especially for females, you're worried a lot. The female energy, you know, male, female, take it how it resonates. But it is coming up as female energy that's very worried about money. But you're going to be all right. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to make, there's going to be an arrangement here when it comes to money. For some of you, you're standing on work. You're standing on a lot of work. For some of you, again, you could be traveling for work. Or there's some type of unexpected travel. Um, or maybe not so unexpected. Maybe you do expect this. But you've been communicating about arrangements for this. For some of you, if there's a financial pickle for whatever reason, something unexpected comes up that you have to spend uh, a bit of money on. You have support from, especially from your, your baby's father. Take that how it resonates. If you have a child by someone else, um, it's like both parents support the child. For some of you, um, you and your ex significant other is coming in as another, is coming in. For some of you, you have another suitor. So you could be with someone else. You have another suitor. Someone's actually suiting you. Like they actually want to have a serious relationship with you. Uh, but you and your ex partner um or the person you have a child with i don't know if it was that serious for some but um this person's very supportive of your child they really love your child my lovies even though for some for some of you you could be planning some type of celebration for your child or a birthday party for a child or some type of party for a child and it's gonna be really nice For some of you, your child looks to you as the mama, even though the dad is very supportive. For some of you, your child is like, that's your world. Take it how it resonates. For some of you, you can have two children. It's very cute. It's very sweet energy, but you'll be spending time. For some of you, there's a celebration or some type of festivity, and it's going to be a, a good time, especially if a child is involved. It's going to be very sweet. But there's sadness here. Six of swords energy. Boom. For some of you, there's sadness in a situation. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We're getting a few different energies. There's a little bit of sadness for some. Why are you sad, my lovies? 
over family. Nah. It's been it's been the theme in the readings, my lovies. It's not right, my lovies, for they're deceiving. You know, my lovies, it's so funny. Um, in your preliminary, so I did a preliminary, and um, for some of you, you can feel real sad about a family because maybe for some of you, you have a child, you have two children, you have multiple children. Take it how it resonates, but it's like. Their lies destroyed the connection. That's how it came in. In the preliminary, it just came in as their lies destroyed the connection. They they can blame you. They can gaslight you. But in deep down, they know the lies destroyed the connection. The lies destroyed the connection, my lovies. Don't be sad. It's all right, my lovies. Just be a dad, my lovies. For some of you who are dad, just be a dad, my lovies. Um, it's curious because Spirit was giving us... So I, I am... I'm 11 years older than my youngest sister. So my blood sister, everybody's my sister. Um, all females are my sisters, but um, I am 11 years older than my youngest blood sister. So when she was born, I shared this with a friend and uh, um, it was curious, his analysis of our, of our relationship at the time. Um, but when she was born, um, she was like my baby. Um, like I would always want to hold her. I would always want to change her diaper. I was always very nurturing, but I never really got like the chance to express it fully until she came along and uh, at home. Uh, because my other siblings, like we were all kind of around the same age. So she was like, you know, there was a draft and she was a little baby. So I would like feed her. I would change her diaper. I would like, that was like, I would do her hair. I would, I was always braiding her hair. Um, I thought it was, fair i would bounce her around the house showing her like new like new ways to say things like and i would put her to sleep i would know how to put her to sleep i would like that was like my little baby like it was like a little baby it was the cutest little thing and um it's curious because um she would actually call me her second. She would call me mommy. She would call me mom. Um, and it's funny because actually it was my mother who told her to do that. And then later on, she's like, don't call her mom. And I'm like, okay, I didn't, I didn't ask for it. It was actually you, if you remember. But um, so, um, so well, we had that bond for a while. And it's curious because I was sharing this with a friend and like he would see at that time how our relationship was and how I would talk about her. And he said, you know, it's funny. You treated her the way that you wanted to be treated as a child. You didn't get to be treated with that type of love. And you treated her how you wanted to be treated. Like I remember the first time my mom slapped her in the face and I stepped in for her. Um, and at that time, you know, my mom was pretty abusive towards me too. So I was taking kind of a bold risk there and I stepped in for her and I'm like are you good you're gonna hit her too she's only three like she it was over something really uh, silly but she slapped the shit out of her and her whole face turned white and she was like three years old and um but uh at that time like like it was like that she was a little baby you know um but the the guy he always told me he's like you um you wanted to be her mom. It's like you wanted her to be, you wanted to treat her how you thought, even though you were a child, you wanted to, it was like you wanted to show her what you didn't get. And so for some of you, maybe it's that, maybe through your children, you know, that's part of healing generational trauma because it was also present in your preliminary and in the readings. So for some of you, it's like you have supported, for some, you get lucky, right? You get lucky and you have supportive family that support you through the healing of generational trauma, even if they may not even understand it. And then for others, it's almost like you, you ha you've you been reprimanded for wanting to heal, wanting to do things better. Um, maybe for some of you, you get to do it through your children maybe for some of you you get to do it, do it through your work maybe for some of you you get to do it through your community uh you get to treat others the way that you have wished you would have wished to be treated um it's interesting take that how it resonates this energy's been very present for some the last couple of readings it's been all about oh you got people questioning something for some for some of you because for some of you there's ptsd for some of you post-traumatic stress disorder for some of you um I don't like to, again, even as somebody who studied these terms, I don't go around like really, for me, it's just an expression of a concept. Can you get out of this energy? Yes. 
like any other energy but for some of you you can't deny that there are things that happened traumas that happened post-traumatic things that happened in your life that you're now healing from and it's something that's very brave because you're not numbing it away you're not fucking it away you're not shopping it away you're not drinking it away you're not harassing others with it away you're trying to find a healthy way to heal yourself what you've done maybe through your gifts even for some maybe through your work for some it's like you've made a conscious decision to to move forward something about even knowing that there were errors and omissions maybe for some of you again you were dealing with a lot of liars and you are favored by fortune i feel it for some of you it's like i feel it my lovies it's the real deal for some of you you're favored by fortune the toughest soldiers get tested my lovies i'm just the messenger i've been there my lovies <clears throat> Uh, because for some, Jesus, they can't look you in the eyes because of all the lies. They can't look you in the eyes because of all the fucking lies. But they'll gaslight you. They'll say, I can't look you in the eyes because you're lying. Wait, what? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta laugh, my lovies. Some people be saying the, ridic the most ridiculous of things. The name Nicholas can be significant for some. <laughs> Nicky Nicholas the ridiculous for some. You got legal documents for some. Uh, for some of you, legal documents and PTSD. For some of you, again, you can be getting some type of an official document when it comes to a medical situation, but take that how it resonates. For some of you, there's a resignation. Ooh, we got a reversal. For some of you, there's a reversal of a situation. For some of you, competing for the prize. Somebody is competing for the prize. You could be competing for something. That sweepstakes energy came in. For some of you, you could have entered a sweepstakes or something like that. Oh, um, when I saw when I saw the sheep earlier, because um I had them, I haven't used I didn't use these last night at the event, uh at the event uh, event for some. Um I didn't use these last night. Uh, we didn't work with these last night at the event, but I kept seeing the word sheep and I'm like, watch it come out today. And actually, even before starting, I'm like, spirit sheep or mutton. <laughs> and there it is. Uh for some of you, there's no love in this situation when it comes to someone who is just competing. There could be an event who is just competing. There's no love in this situation, my lovies. For some of you, there's somebody that, for example, it's like somebody that for fright, something about fright, something about shipments, something about 18 wheelers or fright or shipments of fright for some. Um, I'm getting like a for somebody can work like in a stock in a warehouse or something um, and they're receiving freight for some. But uh, somebody can work in shipping and receiving. But um, and they're deceiving for for some there's somebody that's really adamant about trying to make you an enemy or this could be you in this energy i'm just a reader my love 37 13 and it's really ob mandy uh something about more um it's really obvious it's almost like some people are some people just need time to heal like they just want to steal for some somebody just wants to steal now i'm seeing like steal i'm seeing actual steal like s-t-e-e-l um but um like there's no beef but somebody really wants to make it like there's a fight or a war like they don't even sleep without thinking of somebody they call somebody a whore that's not a whore um it's really funny and and by funny i mean scary <laughs> that's what i read that's what i read for some of you getting shredded getting fit this energy's been present my lovies look at y'all my lovies make my mouth water my lovies you and your daughter for some of you you and your daughter are getting fit you're getting fit my lovies y'all getting shredded my lovies you're getting emotionally spiritually and physically fit my lovies dang my lovies dang long hair don't care my lovies it ain't fair my lovies you out Damn, my lovies. For some of y'all, y'all are hot. <laughs> y'all are hot. Something about Karen. Something about Kareem. Um, dang, dream team. True dream team, my lovies. Dang, y'all be spicy, my lovies. Could do have to do with a Pisces, my lovies. Y'all be out here getting shredded, getting fit, looking nice. Sugar and spice and everything. Nice. E I E I. Uh oh, my mama told me. 
que papi goodie. Okay, enough. 3852. You're working too much. For some of you, spirit thinks you're working too much, or someone thinks you're working too much. Your spirits could be. The consequences of working too much. I'm not taking it as a bad thing per se. The consequences of working too much is that you're getting fit. That's the energy that's present right now. It doesn't seem bad. <laughs> Maybe just balance. Like, don't overwork yourself. I don't think it's an issue, but if spirit's bringing it up, it's for something. Uh, someone needs a tissue. Someone's crying. Someone's lying. Maybe for some... I'm... I'm gay for some someone's gay um because I have workaholic in here too spirit if spirit thought you were a workaholic spirit would have given that to us if someone comes to you especially over the next few waves that you're riding because it looks like for some of you you're deciding to take care of yourself mentally emotionally and physically you're speaking your truth you're being your truth if someone comes to you and says you are working too much i would take that with a grain of salt just make something about basalt something about basam something about a cafe something about cafe basam something about fifth ave um something about a downtown of somewhere i wouldn't take it too seriously because i think someone's it is coming in as delusional and maybe even envious of your dedication to your new situation whatever that is find of course balance you'll know when you need to rest rest but i think that you are actually quite supercharged right now and someone got discharged um I just, I don't see. It is what it is. And the blind are leading the blind. It feels like someone that's blind and maybe trying to lead you in a wrong direction. I'm just the messenger. That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like, like someone may even say like, you're obsessed with what you're doing. 4111, you're obsessed with work. You're obsessed, kind of like parakeet talk. Spirit saying like, they're just, they're just like repeating what they think sounds good. Just make sure you're getting rest. Just make sure that you're not overworking yourself. But it's just like, it's empty. They don't really, what they're saying, they don't mean it. They're just saying what sounds good. Blind leading the blind. This is a person that may even go tell you to get vaccinated and do all types of crazy shit just because it's the protocol. Like someone's just going down a checklist. They don't mean anything they say. That's what it feels like. So this person could even tell you like you're working too hard. You're going too much to the gym. You and your child are doing too much yoga together. But it's really weird because remember that five of swords energy is also in the field. So envy could be motivating somebody or meanness or really trying to sabotage because that five of swords energy could also be very sabotage type of energy. Trying to be sneaky, trying to get away with something out of competition and envy and wickedness. That I'm just a messenger. Something about Dahlia, Dahlia, Dahlia. Something about Thalia. Something about Amari or Amory. Ar the Armory or something like that. I don't know. We got a legal here for some. Something is legal. You got to ask for more money when it comes to a legal situation. Again, for some, if you have to ask for an accommodation, you have to ask for the right accommodation if you have to ask for a special something or other spirit is saying you are worth it you have to ask for more they have it whatever that means to you and for some of you, you got to tease because they're going to try to tease you uh if you're negotiating something they're going to try to lowball you or see kind of what you will accept ask for more spirit saying ask for more This is the second day in a row. I think it came, I think, or the maybe the third, 4311. Spirit's asking some to ask for more money, my lovies. For some of you, this natural disaster was also present in yesterday's read. Jesus. A natural disaster for some. Maybe for some of you, there's going to be an insurance claim after some type of disaster. You need to ask for more money. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. My goodness. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. My goodness. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. You ain't no flaw. You ain't no flawed. A master. You're a master, actually. 
For some of you, masters. For some of you, you can have your masters. For some of you, you could be working on your masters. For some of you, you could be a master at something. For some of you, you have self-mastery. Oh my goodness, oh my God, oh my goodness, oh my God. My goodness, oh my God, oh my goodness, oh my God. What's this, my lovies? <laughs> What's this, my lovies? What is this, my lovies? Numbers in your pocket. I remember you when you used to throw those things away. 44 and 11. Why don't you want to keep in touch now? Who gave you a reason to act so shady? Baby, you know you can call me anytime. Anything you need and I will give it to you. 70s. Somebody was born in the 70s or something about the 70s. That's how much I... Or the average temperature of a situation. Wanna act now? Never call me back now. Turning off your cell phone, girl. You know that ain't cool. I don't understand. Baby, it's a shame. We gotta go, Shayna, through this. And Shane, we don't even talk. And something about Jake. Girl, we don't even kiss. I never. Something about Stephanie. Would have thought we be baking. Bacon? Or but bacon like the name, but breaking up like this. And an angel. For some of you, there's an angel involved in a situation protecting you. Or you are you you are your own angel. I'm getting that song, I'm Your Angel by R. Kelly and Celine Dion. R. Kelly or Celine Dion could be significant for some. For some of you, there could have been a situation with a minor. And for some of you, there's a designer. For some of you, there that issue, that ashu, that ish ashu. That issue, something about cashew, something about cashew milk. Uh, that issue with a minor has been very present for some. Someone messing around with someone either like 16, 17. I saw this crazy shit yesterday, my lovies. Um, it's so curious. Like I talk about something in the readings and then it comes up in the thread. But I know it's also the algorithm. But I'm like, dang, the algorithm scans the whole dang video. That's intense. That's intense, isn't it, my lovies? But they just wanted to pay the rent. Um, for some of you, and something about a runt and something about a cunt. But um, for some of you, um, this could be significant because it's been present in the freaking readings. Um, there was a guy that was living in a like a roommate situation with a female who... I don't know if he was dating her or not, but point is he got her nine year old pregnant and they went to, I think, where did they go? I think, where did they say they went, they had to go to another state because the state that they live in, they don't do abortions with for minors. So they had to go to another state to get the little, the nine year old girl, uh, an abortion. Isn't that interesting? Anyways, everything's coming in for a reason. Pregnancy leave. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. <laughs> I am just the messenger. You saw what just happened there? Pregnancy leave. For some of you, it could be for a minor. Jesus. For some of you, you did the spiritual work moving on. I told you, I feel it. For some of you, you're really doing the spiritual work. It's no BS, my lovies. You're blessed, my lovies. You do the spiritual work. You do it. You're not doing weird seances, weird rituals. You are literally doing the fucking spiritual work. It's not for a standing ovation. It's not for a fucking celebration. It's because you know what your purpose is and you're preparing for that and you did the spiritual work, my lovies. The spirits say you did you did it you did it for some of you uh someone wants to marry you marry me or for some of you uh girl let's just get married someone just wants to get married they want to get married with you somebody wants to get married with you my lovies astrology an astrologer or someone who's into astrology or they looked at the charts or something and they're like we align maybe some of you somebody's into that type of stuff they want to get married someone wants to get married someone's gonna get married uh an 11 to 7 for some of you an 11 to 7 something about seta something about seta something about po he would go with this poinsettia energy and seta something about sonetta someone's playing mind games with some or with some uh something about dim sum 48 11 someone's playing mind games my lovies i'm hungry i'm hungry my lovies i'm i'm hungry a leo could be significant for some multi-million for some of you, uh, for some of you, a view, for some of you, a view, for some of you, the view, isn't that a show? That's a talk show. The view, for some of you, the view. A disorder. 
un desorden. This energy has been present the last couple of days. Yesterday it came in before it actually came out. The second day in a row. Uh, was it yesterday or maybe the day before? A disorder. There's a disorder in a situation. For some of you, you could help fix a situation. Maybe for some of you, you could help fix or align a situation or better create a more uh, harmonious space where there's a disorder right now and chaos. In an 11 to 7, I, I feel like this is a work situation. For some of you, you could be working with people and it's kind of like a, a talk show of some sort. The view could be significant. Don't they give the latest gossip in the view? Here we go with the metropolis and Minneapolis. Take that how it re resonates. Cincinnati, Cincinnati, Cincinnati could be significant for some, and something about Natty, Natty, and somebody speaks with a very nasal, um, someone very nasally. Someone could be from the south. Forty nine thirty one. Everything is happening for a reason, and for some of you, I don't know if you're actually working too much. I think Spirit's saying you're actually on point. For some of you, there's a nonviolent offense. There's a nonviolent offense for some. Do that how it resonates. That made my back hurt. Someone has a lumbar spine issues or spinal cord issues. A nonviolent offense. It could be stalking for some. I am getting like a criminal offense because I'm trying to clarify in the spirits like, is it crime, my lovies? 5011. And it could be like a federal offense, but nonviolent, a nonviolent crime. Someone may do time for some for a nonviolent crime. It could be a white collar crime. It's making my back hurt. Someone has some back issues. Like, it hurts a lot, especially like, like the lumbar spine. Someone has some lumbar spine issues. It hurts a lot. The nerves are shot, especially on the left side. Uh, we got the North Pole. Something's really, ow. <laughs> I'm getting like a weird shocking pain. Someone's like back is like, oh my God. It's like poison. I'm seeing like someone's healing from some trauma that has maybe for some somebody's been uh, backstabbed quite a bit. Fifty one eleven. Someone can come from like a family of of backstabbers. The energy's been present, or like someone's just been backstabbed a lot, and they've it, like you know again. The energies are, even when we see the Ten of Swords, you normally see the swords kind of impaling the person and, and usually they're showing the back of the person because it's like you feel stabbed in the back in a situation. And even in the physical, you start to behave accordingly. So your body starts to create a state of disease if you don't process these emotions and, and, and process and alchemize that and turn that into something else. It creates disease in your body. And then you have, like, for example, physical symptoms of what you're experiencing in your emotional state. For example, if you felt back, back, back rape, what the fuck is a back rape? <laughs> Okay, boom. It's like a male being molested by a family member. Take that how it resonates. Or someone close to the family. Because Spirit was even giving us, like, for some... Um, it's coming in for a reason. Something about a nutritionist. Uh, something about a contortionist. Something about an extortionist. Something about, you know, um, you someone could could have like had someone sit on their lap a lot, like an uncle or someone in the family. Because Spirit was giving us in the preliminary how um, people always like, when it's like a rape thing, like most rapes and sexual harassment and shit like that, they happen in the home with someone either in the family or close to the family those rapes that happen like street rapes or crazy shit like that that's like less frequent than people are that are actually like in your home in your family spirit was giving that to us in the preliminary there could have been a guy that got like molested by because i'm seeing like 
a ventriloquist. I'm seeing a ventriloquist. And I'm seeing how, like, the ventriloquists sit, like, the dolls on their laps. And it's like, you say everything the ventriloquist wants you to say. Some fucking creepy shit's coming in, my love. He's like, I gotta tell you. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Jesus. Someone's getting off on probation. This is the second day or, th or third day. Uh, something about a rape, my lovies. I gotta tell you. And the North Pole, the pole facing north. I'm just a messenger. For some of you, your spouse wants to surprise you. For some of you, your spouse wants to surprise you. Someone's getting out on probation. For some of you, Botox. Medical treatments of all sorts for some are in the field. For some of you, menstruation or something that happens on a monthly basis. North Pole, menstruation. For some of you, someone can get their period and everybody's going to be very happy. For some of you, there could be a child going into um, like puberty. For some of you, you deserve respect. For some of you, um, you deserve respect. Someone who's menstruating deserves respect. For some of you, did we say this yesterday or the day before? Anyways, they defend you behind your back. For some of you, they defend you behind your back. Your spouse wants to surprise you and they defend you behind your back against someone with Botox for some or someone that has Botox is involved in a situation, but your spouse defends you behind your back for some. That's impressive. We got crowdfunding here. For some of you, there's a crowdfunding situation. For some of you, somebody could have, I am getting like Botox, like fake, like fake faces. Like, usually people get Botox when it comes to, again, for some, there could have been something wrong with someone's mouth. Someone did something to their mouth, especially, and if it affected their tongue, too, because they could have been talking shit. Maybe for some of you, your spouse has to back you, or someone's sp spouse had to back them. Amanda, when it came to, like, raising funds for something, and people that are fake-faced. Like, because you know when Botox, like, when you freeze your face, and it's almost like, you like, like, they look weird. Someone can have Botox though, like Botox lips. And then you know when they get fucking weird and then they start to deflate and it looks like a, I don't know, it looks like a deflated balloon. <laughs> I'm just a messenger. These are the, these are the, the energies that are coming in. For some of you, these are your envies and these are your enemies. Your spouse, uh, your spouse defends you for some against people. Maybe for some of you, you were doing some type of crowdfunding or fundraising for a situation. And there were a bunch of fake people that would like smile in your face, but talk shit behind your back. But because they were envious, again, five of swords energy crowning all of this crap. We got cooking healthy for some. Someone who's menstruating is cooking healthy. For some of you, you deserve respect for you, your cooking skills. For some of you, there could be something, you, you pay the bills with your cooking skills. Maybe for some of you, you got people, some people are fucking nuts. Anything, any mockery to shoot you down, to, to bring you down. Some people are really nuts, my lovies. You have the support of not only your spouse, which is fucking amazing, but of, of your community too. Because for some of you, you can cook healthy. And this energy has been in and out the last week or so. Like somebody that cooks healthy that can actually have like a cooking show. Or you could like uh, start selling your meals or like vegan meals for some or or healthy meals or if it's not vegan, whatever it is. Everything is coming in for a reason though. What did we say earlier about cashew milk? You deserve respect, my lovies. You bless the people with your cooking. That's why you can't eat everywhere and from anybody's hands. But if you do it with love and spirit saying you deserve the respect, my lovies, get to it, my lovies. Go do it, my lovies. Sky is the limit. Third day in a row. The sky is the limit and it shows that you have unique gifts and people are fucking envious. They'll try to shoot you down, change you around. It's like, what the hell? What's wrong with you? Certain people, they have no clue. And you ain't got to worry about what's wrong with them, my lovies. Keep going. Unique gifts. You got unique gifts. For some of you, you can heal through food. If you get it, you get it. There's a reason why that rosemary energy came in. Rosemary is very healing. For some of you, you know how to work with herbs. And then your food tastes freaking great too. And it's healing of the soul. And you are being initiated and people fucking hate it. 5811. This is the second day. Being initiated into the next level of your divine plan. Nobody else's. It's yours.
You need to crowdfund. For some of you, you need to crowdfund when it comes to a situation. Because you have unique gifts that need funding. And the right people will fund you. And the other right wrong the, the other rapist, fuck. Oh my god. They did it in a truck. This was coming in. Take what resonates. I'm just a messenger. We got escapism. Fuck. Escapism. For some of you, your art could actually be like your liberation. That's what it feels like. Like I'm getting escapism in the sense of like, this is my healthy expression of my PTSD or of the traumas I've been through. This is how I have chosen to alchemize this for the greatest good, um, whether it be from, you know, it's really about you and your journey and whatever you create from what your spirit is, that's how you will bless the world. So you will be known by your deeds. Enye. We got an enye here. Escapism. Sky. For some, somebody's going to try to escape by flying somewhere. A new home. For some of you, enye and a new home. For some of you, your gifts uh, can take you to the sky and you can have a new home with your unique gifts. Nia. Something about Nia. Something about Mia. Something about Nia Long. Uh, you are simply extraordinary. Come on, seriously? Are you fucking kidding me or are you kidding me? You are simply extraordinary. The spirits can't praise you enough. Can can you can you can you tap into that? Can you something about tap out? Something about tap out shirts? Can you tap into that, my lovies? You are simply extraordinary. You are being in, oh my god, you are being inspired. For some of you, you are being initiated into the next level of your divine plan. You are simply extraordinary with your unique gifts. You got a new home coming in. They defend you behind your back. Crowdfunding for some of you, you have a crowd who defends you behind your back. Who gives a shit about the ones that want to attack you? Old friends, old family, people you don't even fucking know that envy you. And it shows secret rendezvous for some in a truck. In the North Pole, for some of you, uh, someone's going to get off of probation uh, who was uh, having secret rendezvous on the North Pole. <laughs> with a, And they want to hide it. Uh, roof repair and wet. They want to hide the wet, getting off of probation because of some wet, wet for some. I'm just the messenger. And they made a bet too. I don't know. This was the stupidest bet. For some of you, roof repair. Your spouse wants to surprise you with a roof repair. For some of you, your spouse may want to surprise you or your potential spouse may want to surprise you with some type of renovation. Maybe maybe a new home for some. Maybe a celebration. Maybe for some, your, your roof repair. Think of like a roof over your head. Like maybe they want to surprise you with a new home. They want to like, your spouse wants to do something sweet to, for you, to you. Uh, I want to do something freaky to you baby they want to do also something freaky to you for some of you you get along with your spouse you get a uh, you get around you get around what the hell does that mean you get around what does that mean okay i'm getting a few things for some you get around like like you get around like you get around um like you get around as in like now i'm getting you get aroused Okay, you get around like you get around. You get you get around. I, I'm trying to clean it up because someone doesn't want to say, but it's like you sleep with a lot of people. You get around. For others, you get around like, dang, like you get around. Like you know your way around town. For others, you get around like, dang, my love, I want a round. I want two rounds. I want three rounds. Give me four rounds. Like sexually, like there's a partner that really loves his partner uh, or her partner. Take it how it resonates. For others, um, you get aroused. <laughs> I'm the messenger. <laughs> you got legal. For some of you, you got legal. Uh, someone, um, there's a legal issue for some. For some of you, that libeling and slandering law and pressing charges against someone with Botox, uh, a legal matter with against somebody with some type of Botox or something or lip fillers or some bullshit uh, because someone's going to try to like accuse you of doing something with crowdfunding uh, that is not uh, true. So there's going to be a legal issue for some and someone's going to need a fucking tissue. I would fucking slam the books on them because some certain people, I'm a channeler and sometimes I like my lovies. Is this what I got to say? And I got fucking proof. Like this is my proof because, you know, this is the best way that I can express my gifts of being a psychic because I am a prophesizer without having like 
you know, tangible proof of what's to come before it comes. But once it happens, people are always like, they happened, this happened, that happened, it all fucking happened. This is Mike. This is Mike. For some of you, this is Mike. For some of you, this is like the way that I can share what I'm feeling and seeing. Certain people just talk shit just to fucking talk shit out of their envy. I would get them in trouble. For some, they left the door locked on purpose. For some, they left... When it came to doing something, some secret rendezvous, they locked the door on purpose. Someone was menstruating. They locked... For some of you, this could be like a teenager, my lovies. Or there's going to be an issue with a teenager. And they locked the door on purpose. They could have been like... You could say, I don't like this door locked. Or leave this unlocked. Or uh, leave the car door unlocked. Or something. They did it on... They they locked the door on purpose. Something about Danilin or Denial. Denial. And something about Lyle. We got Fortune 500. You deserve respect in a company for some. Or Fortune 500. Or you, again, we saw you're favored by Fortune for some. We got Purple Rain. They didn't want to cause you pain. And they defend you behind your back. Purple Rain. For some of you, uh, if for whatever reason, at some point, you had people talking shit behind your back. They didn't really mean to cause you pain. They defend you behind your back. Take that how it resonates crowdfunding we got a package for some a crowdfunding package for some we got postal service for some of you you are receiving something in the mail and you're gonna be in in anisa you're going to be an anissa an, an, okay here we go alisa an, anisa nisa or nissi nessi nephi i'm getting what's his name what's that guy that he died he got shot actually they say he got shot by somebody that was like a random but it almost felt like a setup but that guy was doing so much for the community nipsey hustle nipsey hustle could be significant for some you're being initiated into the next level of your divine plan uh you're gonna get something in the mail there's a package here being delivered through the postal service for some um that's gonna help you get into the next level of your divine plan whatever that is to you your intuition is on point my gosh my lovies what the heck what the heck you're just the best my lovies your intuition is on point follow your gut your intuition is on point follow your gut even if it's uncomfortable sometimes i get to read for people i have to filter certain things as a reader because you know there's certain things that i'm like i don't think this person spirit gives us the divine high priestess energy to be able to um cover me as i do this work because certain things there are certain people that i'm like i know this person has absolutely nothing to fucking hide what a clean soul with clean goals others it's kind of like you got to dance around landmines <laughs> you know and it's not all the time not it's so curious to me most people they're actually like great people like they want you know like everybody else you have your ups your downs whatever but like they genuinely just want to be happy they want to do what's right whatever that means to them certain people they have some demons other people they have some powers that they don't like to talk about you know it's all to each his or her own but for some of you your intuition is on point you're you're a blessing my lovey you got unique gifts for some of you you could be a reader you could be a prophesizer um your intuition is on point you need to trust it there's a reason why i'm especially when it comes to uncomfortable things that you may see and you may not necessarily want to say something something about the macy's day parade you may not necessarily want to say something but spirits inviting you to lean into your intuition follow that follow the divine guidance even when it may be a little uncomfortable for some because for some of you you have some powerful gifts my lovies you are not settling don't settle the sky is the limit don't settle my lovies over the sky you are not settling for some of you, you may need to go not just to master's. You may actually have to go to MD. For some of you, you can get your doctorates. And cooking healthy. There could be a nutritionist that needs to get her doctorates for some. Or you are a doctor of something. You know, through these modern institutions, it's fine. I, I mean, Something about retribution, though. Uh, through these modern, modern... Something about a model. Something about a modern... Something about modern arts. Um, but um, something about contemporary art. But... Um, through these modern institutions, I think it's useful to just study things in general. So that's why I don't mind going to school. But to say that, I know doctors that are 
you know, shamans, do they have like a PhD from Harvard? No, not necessarily. Could it be useful to have a PhD from Harvard? Yeah, why not? Especially it'll open you to a certain consciousness that tends to be very um, judgmental and, and blocks out anything that is not theirs. So it's something to consider for some. Maybe spirit is trying to open you up to a bigger audience uh, so that you can discuss certain things from their level. Take that how it resonates. I'm just the messenger. We got a glamorous life. Spirit wants to open you up to something. We got escapism. For some of you, somebody could be escaping. Um, again, I don't feel something negative per se, but this is your way of removing yourself from harmful situations. That's how I'm getting it. Legos, something that's building, building blocks, Enye, Building box, building box. For some of you, a building box. For some of you, building blocks when it comes to a new home. Geology. For some of you, geology. You can study geology. For some of you, uh, a mother who is simply extraordinary. Oh, my God. No. For some of you, um, there's a mother who thought that it would be easy to do something. Uh, when I was getting postal, I was also getting like going postal, which this energy for some reason, it tends to bring that into. Uh, so for some of you, there could be a mom who kind of lost her marbles and she's trying to understand why she did the things that she did. Uh, she thought that it would be easy to do something for some, a mother. Now she's trying to be more open-minded going postal see i felt it over the mind postal service someone went a little crazy maybe maybe someone maybe someone's mother was doing more than she like it was like more than she understood she was trying to be open-minded when it came to a situation we do have a chef here for some of you a package for a chef for some of you, you got to follow your intuition when it comes to this mother. For some of you, your mom could be a chef or a cook. Follow your intuition. Something is not right with this person or this situation when it comes to a legal issue with a mother who's a chef who thought she was going to be open-minded, but I think the person went crazy. I'm just the messenger here. It's kind of like almost like they let their fear get the best of them. Nine of swords energy in the in the spirit of the divine for some of you there's a mom could actually a mom could actually do time i'm just a messenger someone went crazy a mother went crazy i'm getting she went postal she could have tried to like even maybe i don't know because i'm getting like rituals i'm getting devil energy she could have tried to like participate nine of swords energy there could have been for some you have gifts so sometimes your gifts can intimidate those around you so you may have like had family members or a mother who knew about your gifts <laughs> it's like this is how much you care at this point i don't think you care about this my lovies um this is your mother the empress I felt her. She's not straight. I felt she's not straight. You have a crooked mother for some who thought it would be easy to do some sleazy shit to you. This person's trying to heal. She's not in the reverse. Uh, there's a mom who's trying to heal, but you know there's something wrong with her. You know there's something wrong with the mom for some. <coughs> Ooh. <clears throat> Jesus. This woman could have screwed you over when it came to a legal procedure. I'm getting the Nine of Swords in this tarot. Um, the Nine of Swords in this tarot tells of the family that um, they stayed up all night. They were depressed. They were sad and they were worried. They let their fears get to the best of them because an oracle told them that their child would grow up to have a gift, but that the child would grow up to kill the father and take over the empire. And in order to uh, prevent that, in certain stories, they say that the father tried to kill the child. In other stories, they say that the father tried to exile the child. For some of you, your mom could have tried to do something like that. Out of fear of a prophecy or of your powers or of your gifts or of your light. And maybe for some of you, of your inner fight. This person knew that you would always be some type of special. This is what's coming in. But she wanted to make you seem special, Ed. This is what's coming in. 
Nine of Cups over her ambitions. But for some of you, this person's a liar. Even in your life, this person could have like pretended to be someone that they because the nine of okay, we got nine energy, so there's definitely nine energy ending energy. But um, this person could have always tried to like pretend to be one way with you, but actually, they were something completely different. Queen of Wands. Her wish fulfillment was to work with a sister or was to work with somebody else in your place, though. I am getting like. Sa San Sandy or Sarah Cindy? So little Cinderella? I'm getting something else now. I'm getting a... a take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Because I'm also getting somebody's friend that wanted to take like their place as someone's like partner. But in reality, this person was just trying to do something sexual. Um, the Nine of Cups in this tarot is the story of a king... Um, of a prince who wanted to trick the princess into marrying him but the princess never liked to hang out with men and so he dressed up as a female and pretended to be a for some of you there could be something about a cross-dresser because this is the second day in a row that cross-dressing energy is coming in so he pretended to like dress as a female to be a female to win her heart and then that's how he got to her <laughs> a group could have worked against you for some when it comes to a legal situation a group three of pentacles a collaboration a group of people working together to sacrifice you the sacrifice the mayan sacrifice i'm just the messenger for some of you you could be hearing from a mom who's going to pretend like she wants to be more nurturing more open-minded more this more that um i don't see it i don't see it my lovies i see that you need to reject this because you, it's like, this is the story of the mockingbird that was sent to save somebody. And instead, they rejected them for luxuries, for stagnation. The Four of Cups is all about community. So for some of you, someone could have even treated you like the black sheep, labeled you a black sheep community six of wands so that they could look exalted for some of you you have a retarded mother i'm just a messenger so that they could look special six of six of wands is all about success it's all about looking a certain way in a community the devil i told you i felt it the devil i told you i felt it the devil i wouldn't trust this i feel like i just wouldn't trust this my lovies i really would not i wouldn't unfortunately sometimes it'd be like that my love is that unfortunate it's, it is what it is it's, it's it's how energy flows sometimes apparently that's just what it is these people would be willing to sacrifice you it's like siblings that we that we be something about we be something about uh we be something about phoebe something about phillips <sighs> boom you have to follow your intuition with that situation, my lovies, because it feels like it's not right. We got rhinoplasty, roof repair. For some of you, rhinoplasty, somebody with, uh, they did something to their nose. There's going to be a roof repair for some. We got a temporary contract. This energy has been present. Uh, someone didn't want to cause you pain. For some of you, you had a mother sign some, some type of deal to sacrifice you with the devil. Take that how it resonates. But they supposedly didn't want to cause you pain. They were sheep in a situation. Oh, look at this little birdie. It landed right on the car. So cute. Um, they were sheep in a situation. You're into, you're into pission. You're into pission. You're into pission. So they're not your premonitions. You get premonitions for some. Your intuition was right about the situation. They are sheep. And they are dishonest. Your intuition is right. They are sheep and they are dishonest. When it comes to a geologist as well or something about geology. So they're not astrology too for some. For some, they want to leave their spouse for you. They want to leave they want to leave their spouse for you. Will they? They want to leave their spouse for you. They want to leave their spouse for you. So what? <laughs> Something about vet, smother, uh, smothering. Someone's a smotherer. Someone, you're smothering me. <laughs> That's what's coming in. Dang, an Aquarius could be significant for some. Uh, Sagittarius could be significant for some. I'm getting like, someone hates when their spouse 
they're disgusted by their spouse. I'm, I'm getting like, you're smothering me. Like, get off of me. And it's like, but I'm just kissing you. And it's like, get off of me. Like, they don't even like them. I, I, at this stage in the game, my loveys, I would just say, my love, you don't want to be here. Like, let's go. You don't got to be here. Like, why? And it shows. This person is lying. Fortune 500, someone is lying in a company. I'm getting Pinocchio. I don't know. Anyways, Spotify, not settling. You're not going to settle for this. Um, I almost wanted to like explore it a little bit for you for some, but Simba, here we go, Simba. And something about Mamba, something about Mamba, something about Jamba Juice. Um, they, they, they're going to promise. I, I, just, I just feel like they want to leave their spouse for you. It doesn't feel clear. They don't know what they want. They're still in fear. They bully the person that they're with, that they don't want to be with. It just, it don't, it does, it, it, I'm not convinced, my lovies. And it's over. This person is lying and something about music. And then Legos are right here. So for some of you, I think someone's playing a game. They're going to even say they want to leave their spouse for you. But I, there's also, they left their spouse here. And I don't see, I just don't see this. I see uh, uh, Celia, Celia, Cecilia. They're struggling with changes. I think someone's growing up. For some of you, again, there could be a, a teenager that's going through changes. Maybe for some, you know when like you're the teenage years and like they turn to like music or they turn to certain things, especially if they're more introverted. Um, they may feel even a little deserted for some. There's someone that, a, a young person around you for some that may need a little bit more attention, especially as they're going into like puberty. Because I'm getting like either a young lady that's getting her, her period for the first time. Um, um, or take it how it resonates or a young boy who's going into puberty take that how it resonates but they're going into like maturity and they may be also struggling a little bit to find their way so take that how it resonates we got a reversal here for some when it comes to no this wants to hide why does this one want to hide Because I wanted to cover... I'm like, this doesn't go here. It goes here. Secret rendezvous. There's a pervert in the field for some. Exposing their intimate parts to unsuspecting people turns them on. For some of you, exposing their intimate parts to unsuspecting people turns them on. They could even do this to younger people. Take that how it resonates. Exposing their intimate parts to unsuspecting people turns them on. There's a secret rendezvous, and this person says they want to leave their spouse for you. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Somebody can like Uno. Someone plays a lot of Uno. Reverse, 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 reverse. Slide to the left, damn. Slide to the right, no. Crisscross, no. Don't crisscross. Don't, don't. I used to love the cha-cha slide. I found this thing, though. I found this guy who, uh, he does, like, he, he made a song, and now it's gotten, like, apparently, like, a lot of people like it. And uh, they made a little cha-cha slide remix type thing, and people do this cute little dance to it. This could be significant for some they, but I'm also getting uno for some of reversal. For some of you, a reversal of a rehearsal. For some of you, there could be a, a cancellation of a wedding. Because for some of you, someone's vetting. And for some of you, someone's too immature. Like, what the fuck? Exposing their intimate parts to unsuspecting people turns them on. They want to leave their spouse for you. This person is lying, but they like music. <laughs> slide to the left dodge that shit reversal they left they left the door locked on purpose somebody wants to reverse something they left the door locked on purpose for some of you if somebody locked the door on you supposedly um they closed this opportunity they didn't want it they want to reverse whatever it was but for some of you, you dodged a fucking bullet you got pastry for some 
MD pastry for some of you, a doctorate's in pastry arts or, uh, can you do that? I don't know. Or maybe a, a food scientist. Yeah, you can, of course you can. A food scientist. Uh, pastry or for some of you, uh, something like that. For some of you, someone knows now. For some, I know now. Now they know something and they're struggling with the changes because now they know. For some of you, now they know that someone is lying. For some of you, now it's known that uh, people were being dishonest and just following a chef or a boss or a mother for some. And it was just a temporary contract with a devil and they didn't pass the test. We got a little afro. Uh, someone with a little afro knows now, but they're struggling with some changes in their life. For some of you, I get this one all the time in my readings and in the and then the preliminary for you, my lovies. This is not your responsibility, but they wanted to make it seem like it is. You are not responsible for anybody's fucking ludicrous ways. This is not your responsibility, but they wanted to make it seem like it is. And someone struggling with these changes. For some of you, again, you let go of the power struggle. You let go of the energetic warfare. You remove yourself from the situation. Who are they going to fight? Who are they going to fight? They're going to try to bring the fight to you. But now you're questioning the dishonesty. Questioning the dishonesty. What did we say from the beginning? Spirit gave us the lies ruin the relationship. They're going to try to blame it on you. Oh, because you're different, because you're the black sheep, because it's because that. They're going to try to label you all types of ways, especially if it helps the whole gang gang up on you. But you know that these people are fucking lying. They thought that it would be easy to betray you. You started questioning the dishonesty. You, you were not a sheep. Oh, there's a chef that controls everything someone does. He or she controls everything that I do. A chef, a boss, again, for some, a mom, a package. They could even control somebody, their, their mail, everything. But someone's letting go. It wanted to reverse itself. So someone's letting go of this or, or someone's becoming a little bit more independent via following their intuition because something's not right with somebody that controls everything somebody does. Uh, an acquaintance for some... I thought that it would be easy. Uh, an open-minded veteran and a female cousin involved in a situation. You need to follow your intuition. Something is not right with a female cousin. For some of you, there are issues in the family. <laughs> For some of you, there's going to be tissues in the family. For some of you, there are legal issues, legal ramifications. For some of you, you had a, a gossiping cousin who's an envious jerk. This person could have also been trying to bash you to a spouse for some. They wanted to take your house. For some of you, they wanted to take your house. And there are legal issues. You need to follow the intuition when it comes to a cousin. She's not all right. For some of you, you need to follow your intuition when it comes to crowdfunding and a package and somebody that tries to control everything that you do or someone around you. For some of you, someone really didn't mean to cause you pain and they actually are loyal to you behind your back, which is very important. And you deserve, because you deserve respect and they know it and they show it. That's sweet, my loveys. I like that. For some of you, uh, someone is going through menopause or they're about to. They, they're showing some symptoms of menopause because they're being initiated into the next level of their life too. Just like you are. No, my lovey. No, don't turn that off. 126.40. For some of you, there's a veteran that can use your support. A veteran that um, of something that doesn't settle uh, but, um, and doesn't, and, and something about, he won a medal. Somebody won a medal. There's a, a veteran that could use your support that won some type of medal. Um, when it comes to a doctor or when it comes to something that you're really good at, there's a, uh, there's a, um, something about Jungian psychology. For some of you, you could be into Jungian psychology, which is all about mysticism and the mystic schools and the archetypes, which are energies that form the personality. For some of you, you could be very good at, um, you have unique gifts for sure. Don't let people question your gifts. You have really, because they're dishonest people. For some of you, being cautious with people that want to like question you, but it's out of, I had, I had this cutest little thing. Children are so sincere. They are so sincere. 
that's why I love them because they approach experience with such sincerity that everything becomes magic around them. Everything becomes magic around children, innocent children that aren't tainted yet. It's like pure souls. They come in. I had these little interviewers yesterday. They interviewed me and I could tell that it's like their sincerity just brought sincerity. It's like they were asking me questions about how I started doing this work. Where did it start? You know, do I buy this? So like, they, like they were because one of them wants to be a little interviewer when she grows up. And I'm like, yeah, interview me for sure. And they just make life so sweet. For some of you, it's like you have that. You kept that energy as an adult. Sincerity. There are a lot of insincere people insincere they're afraid to be themselves they need to wear some type of mask that says a lot your task for some of you your task you're part of the task force take that out it resonates for some of you you're a horse for some of you you're a channeler and for some of you it is not your responsibility uh they want to make it seem like something's your responsibility it's not and a little afro knows now that's sweet that it was all a fucking game it was all a game to drive people insane boom that's sweet my lovies it is sweet dsm7 for some i am getting for some of you you're not guilty uh about the games you're not guilty you're not guilty my lovies don't let yourself be guilt tripped into something that you're not guilty about Spirit saying you're not guilty. For some of you, A and glamorous life. For some of you, you get an A and you pass the test, my lovies. And some type of glamorous life for some of you. For some of you, a little bit of escapism in the field. Apples, for some of you, apples, escapism. For some of you, you could be going somewhere where there are orchards. Because I'm getting like countryside and orchards. And yeah, and... Their parents, this energy has been so fucking present. <laughs> Their parents don't like you and they make it known. And yay. Their parents do not like you and, they're, and they make it known. Again, for some, I feel like the parents are actually obsessed. <laughs> I don't know. They might as well just admit it because shit. This is kind of pathetic. <laughs> Anyways, we got a little afro and a divorce. For some, someone's divorcing someone with a little afro. For some of you, uh, you, ha you have to question an acquaintance, uh, but uh, simply extraordinary, don't forget it. Uh, but um, questioning Labor Day, someone is going to be questioning something uh, during uh, Labor Day festivities. Or a veteran is definitely involved in a situation because I'm also getting Memorial Day. Acquaintance, but Labor Day, someone could be questioning what happened on Labor Day or something happened on Labor Day. Acquaintance, the uncomfortable truth. For some of you, there's an acquaintance who's triggered by uncomfortable truths. For some of you, it could be someone's parents. Because <laughs> it's like, that's what it feels like. It feels like it's almost like parents that don't even know you, but they've formed an opinion because they're fucking triggered. Um, the uncomfortable truth is triggering them. An acquaintance an acquaintance parents or the the uncomfortable truth is triggering them they'll be all right they're gonna find a way to sleep at night at some point uh md and a coffee date what did we say about a cafe there it is you got a coffee date for some with a doctor or someone who's a doctor at something or someone who's very masterful when it comes to a situation doctor is technically a teacher so for some of you it could be someone who teaches something cooking healthy someone who cooks healthy there's the truck. For some of you cooking healthy, there's the truck. For some of you, you can have a food truck or someone has a food truck or eventually someone wants to have a food truck. We got not settling. Don't effing settle, my lovies. Uh, they are arrogant. For some of you, this could be psychotic people that don't like you. <laughs> like, uh, like me, I love everybody. Even people that I would prefer, prefer per, something about profanity. Uh, even people that I would prefer not to speak with, I like them. I like everybody. I want everybody to do great. If you find your peace and do great, it's like, I don't like you and I'm always bashing you. If that happened to me, I would know that I have an obsession with somebody. Like, I would say to myself, you probably like this person more than you think. 
<laughs> they are arrogant and act this is the second day no second day like in the last few readings they are arrogant and act happy because they have money but they are actually sad these are the type of people oh we have a family we built our family legacy you're fucking depressed and you've lived a sad life what do you want me to say and you're not going to settle for the bullshit for some of you they are ha they they are happy they are arrogant. That's what they truly are. They are arrogant and act happy because they have money, but they are actually sad and triggered because spirits trying to get them to wake up from it. And somehow they're mad at the messenger. I'm just a, I'm just the messenger too, my lovies. I'm right there with you. For some of you, you can point out these miserable fucking parents or these miserable families. They act happy because they're in a community, but they're actually fucking depressed and, and hate their life and their wife or their husband. But then they don't like you. I don't know. It's bullshit. Anyways, moving on. We got Sky. They love how you take care of the home. For some of you, I'm telling you, secretly, they actually love you. <laughs> this is what it feels like. I, I've never understood people that it's like, I don't like that itch. I don't like that jerk. I don't like this. I don't like that. I fucking hate them. Blah, 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 blah. And they're constantly talking about the person. It's like, no, 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 my love. You actually fucking love them and are obsessed. That's what you are. <laughs> like, you got unique gifts. Jesus. Always talking about somebody. Something about uh, some, something, something about Samantha. Always talking about somebody. Always talking about somebody's unique gifts. You're fucking obsessed and you wish to be them. That's the problem there. Just say what's fair. You hate their liberty. You 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 hate that they're so creative because you're you don't feel like that. You're too obsessed with what they're doing. Say it what it is, my lovies. I'm not I'm I'm just the messenger. Something about crystal. Somebody can have a crystal shop or something about crystal. I'm getting a crystal love collective. A tall person who has unique gifts for some people that are trying to screw you over because they envy you. We got a DMV for some, some, this is, again, this is, it, someone has to go to the DMV. This is a, a few times or someone went to the DMV. These are the type of people that would even try to stalk you, get information on you, go to the DMV on you. Your intuition is on point. You need to follow it, <laughs> my lovies. For real, for real. Continue. I don't care who says, oh, I don't like you. Tell them to talk to God. They probably don't like God either then. If you are in, if your intuition is on point, and you need to follow it. And spirits are telling you follow your intuition. And these people supposedly don't like you. Whose side are they on? I'm just the messenger. Napoleon complex. Insecure people. Something about sickle cell disease. Uh, insecure people. Napoleon complex. They want you to feel smaller than them. Tyrannical. Tyrannical bosses. Tyrannical leaders. But they're into metaphysics. Are you? Are you really? Not convinced. Not convinced, right, Vince? <laughs> we got a veteran who's having some type of issue, but a veteran's going to get something in the mail for some. Uh, a master. For some of you, there's a veteran who's a master. Or for some of you, a veteran can go and get their master's. I am getting like getting paid to go back to school for some maybe a veteran needs to take advantage of their perks we got postal service you're so and i told you what did we say earlier for some don't worry about your haters because spirit gave us spirit is giving everything for a reason your supporters greatly outnumber your detractors and that even pisses them off why don't more people hate them why why because you're a fucking nut job like, <laughs> like everybody can be crazy we need balance in this world you be crazy by yourself hate everybody that you want you even hate your wife or your husband that's fine like it's like what the hell you hate your family too that you pretend to love that's okay too you even hate your fucking children for some so, that's what's coming in something about susan your supporters greatly outnumber your detractors. No matter how much they try to gang up on you, bully you, talk shit, call you this, call you that. Let them talk. They're fucking crazy. They've gone postal. <laughs> what the hell? And you are being initiated into the next level of your life. And even that irritates them. They're like, dang, we really want to destroy this person. We really want them to suffer. And nothing's wrong with you, my lovey. <laughs> And yet they're being initiated into the next level of their life. Still, they rise. 
like the phoenix they are i would i would heed but certain people they don't like to Someone in their 30s is being initiated into the next level of your life, my lovies. For some of you, the next level of your wife. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got a gas station and observing. For some of you, someone's observing from a gas station. A secret service agent in their 30s. For some of you, there's a secret service agent in their 30s as being initiated into the next level of your life or their life. Take that how it resonates. Good for you, my lovey. We got uh, the year of the rat for some and voting for some of you reversal there's a reversal uh someone is voting to reverse something you know what i was getting for some kitchen kitchen witches kitchen witches are reversing something they're voting in order to reverse something they gotta fucking vote in order to reverse the fucking damage that they did D fucking do the fucking I, I don't even think they're this powerful because they really what well, they're really trying to do 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 deidre deidre what they're really trying to do is reverse um the curse that they've summoned upon themselves because it's almost like for some of you these were co-workers um they as soon as they did something they knew something went wrong now they're trying to reverse it not because they're voting to reverse it but they're trying to make it these people are so fucking arrogant they're trying to make it seem like they're trying to reverse something so that it doesn't affect you because they feel bad for you but in reality that's not what's happening they are trying to reverse it because they realize that they fucked with the wrong powers and now they're going to experience towers and they fucking hate it they're like oh shit how do we reverse it so it doesn't affect her but that's not what they're trying to do they're trying to reverse it so it doesn't fucking destroy their lives which has already been put in place anyway reverse what the tower was gonna come anyway menstruation something that they were doing they do on a monthly basis for some of you there's a group of people that sacrifice people different people on a monthly basis they fucked with the wrong one that's what's coming in i'm just a messenger and there's a dissertation for some there's definitely um some type of study or a research a dissertation for some of you take that how it resonates you deserve respect my lovies and all white because of your priority you deserve respect because of your maturity your sanctity you're a virgin soul if you get it you get it you have virgin goals sanctity of mind body and spirit we got a fortune 500 company um something very emotional is gonna happy happy big afro fortune 500 something very happy is gonna happen for somebody uh, for some of you, this person is lying with artifacts. Somebody is creating some type of artifact or bringing up ancient shit to try to lie on you. <laughs> I told you, for some of you, it's like looking up your fucking driving record. Like, let's see when this person got into like, for some of you, somebody had a DUI. Let's see if they have DUIs or let's see if something, someone's looking for a DUI or someone has a DUI. They were looking for ancient artifacts. And they're watching. For some of you, somebody who is watching, uh, they defend you behind your back. For some of you, somebody defends you behind your, wa uh, your watch. Here we go with this watch energy. Somebody has an expensive watch. A Rolex. Temporary contract. What did we say? What did, what did Spirit give us? Delusional groups of people that thought they were going to get away with something. They think they have power. They really think that their rotten souls have power. They are dying. It is a coven that is dying. This person is delusional and believes that they will get away with their wrongdoings. Spirit was keeping count. It was a temporary contract to the devil. You didn't have power to destroy anybody's life. Spirit was keeping count. It was just a matter of time. Something about a cross dresser. We got package. Poor motor skills for some, someone with poor motor skills. For some of you, there's an elderly person that could use support, like a veteran or something. And if they're not elderly, they're just, um, they've just gone through a lot of things while they were in service. Uh, he or she controls everything that I do. Someone with nonprofit work is controlled by somebody else. He or she controls everything that I do. You need to follow your intuition because something is just a sweet fantasy. 
follow your intuition something is not right with this person or situation when it's a sweet fantasy somebody's trying to sell you on some type of fantastical something or other someone with botox uh who can teleport or maybe there's and rhinoplasty too someone has a lot of surgeries or has gotten a lot of surgeries uh, an abusive parent i told you i felt the abusive parents it's been present the last couple of days an abusive parent who's emotionally abusive uh got some type of nose job or something and for some of you a nose rim what the fuck is a nose rim Someone likes to smell dicks. That's what's coming in. I'm just a messenger. I told you, my lovey. Spirit sees us all. Sees everything about us. Everything. There's nothing you can hide from spirit. There's nothing you can hide from spirit. They see everything. Every little thing we think, we do, we say. They see it all. And when they want to su expose something, they want to summon something up, they see it all. The only reason why spirit is allowing us to see this is because see this to Peter's because someone's so absurd. They also could have tried to do again. I am feeling like a coven of people, a coven of females, older females, 50s, 60s, even maybe uh, something about Susan, but um, something about Suzanne, something about Kim. Um, but, um, they were all working together to try to harm people. So spirit wants to expose them, right? So it's like, it's not to embarrass them. It's never, it's never that. It's just, that's what the energy is. They're ashamed. They live in shame. And something about Shana. They live, or Shauna, uh, something about Deidre or Didi. Um, they live in shame. And so their shame is what procrastinates the energies. Their shame is what makes them be like this way. Their shame is what actually leads them to try to hurt others. And something about their brothers, they a lot of them feel protected by brothers or there's some type of brotherhood as well that they that they uh with. They they mingle with a brotherhood of of warlocks. <laughs> Someone likes to smell dicks. I've this is curious. It's like someone likes to put their nose on the tip of dicks and smell dicks. I don't know why. This is a weird, weird or not, it's the energy. It's how their energy f is functioning. <laughs> they like to smell dicks. They like to smell dicks. Like I'm seeing a, f they love to smell dicks. This is. <laughs> I'm not going to go that deep into that right now. But someone is like, they got weird kinks. Uh, <laughs> your spouse wants to surprise you for some on the east, on the east of something. So, you know, East Ridge. For some of you, uh, you actually could get a spouse surprised that there's going to be a, a an elderly who's moved into a nursing home. Or something, something like that is coming in a surprise when it comes to an elderly and a nursing home and a spouse. They want to leave their spouse for you for some repeating. A <laughs> See, I told you this one didn't really convince me. They want to leave their spouse for you. Repeating a lie many times does not make it true. Repeating a lie many times does not make it true. They want to leave their spouse for you. Someone's going to get off probation. Uh, they got projects. Uh, for some of you, somebody can go live in the projects after they get off. No. That's not, Spirit said no. Um, someone could have been from the projects. But they're going to get off probation and they have projects to do other things after. Uh, exposing their intimate parts for some of you. Um, if somebody gets off of probation, I don't know. <laughs> exposing their intimate parts to unsuspecting people turns them on. Something about a penthouse for some. For some, again, this energy. Something about probate court is present as well. Second day in a row. But this energy of someone getting out, out on probation and you didn't even know they, they're going to be on probate. Like you're not even going to know. Or you don't even know. That's how it's coming in. We got secret rendezvous because there's something secret. Um, secret rendezvous when it comes to a family business. 
something in the evening time a 12 to 9 for some but something is above your pay grade for some when it comes to the north pole for some of you something is above your pay grade when it comes to the north pole or the north caps i'm seeing like um do rags I'm seeing do-rags. Take that how it resonates. We got a female cousin. Uh, chimney. Where there's smoke, there is fire. Deleting evidence. About a blowjob. But the other parent does more. Uh, for some of you, there's a female cousin. The other parent does more than their fair share. For some of you, there could be an imbalance when it comes to a female cousin and what she does in a relationship for the child versus what their partner does. The other parent does more than their fair share. For some of you, uh, there's another parent who may do more in a situation than their fair share and someone could be lying and saying, because this is also the crowd funder. For some of you, and something about a blunder, um, this this person's gonna try to like get money together to because maybe for to buy the child a sweater or to say like the child's not getting and now i'm seeing like school clothes maybe this is gonna be like around back to school time or in the summertime they're gonna say i need to buy clothes for like in august um i need to buy clothes for this child but this female cousin's lying she's also frying someone may actually be on drugs for some wet and a snake for some of you um wet and a snake boom take that how it resonates i'm seeing like a snake like anaconda you know the movie anaconda the old movie with uh jennifer lopez i think was in that movie too but anaconda the movie anaconda and the anaconda swimming in the water and eating people's eating people's daughters for some i'm just a messenger because I'm getting something that there's going to be a painful ending for someone when it comes to a situation and it involves the involves uh, Valerie 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 uh, roof repair home surveillance system for some of you you could be getting an upgraded home surveillance system for some of you my nose is getting stuffy all of a sudden legal 149.44 a caterpillar for some of you there's a transformation when it comes to a legal procedure for some of you there could be a uh, legal procedure involving caterpillar because i am seeing caterpillar the company or some type of construction take that how it resonates we got crowdfunding they ignored you thinking that they could come back for some of you after you getting support from a crowd someone ignored you thinking they can come back this person could actually for some of you zach for some of you zach attack uh for some of you um nicole nicholas someone's going to wanna like get in your wallet i'm just a messenger because of some type of crowdfunding or a crowd that supports you in, cer in a certain way. And something about CERTA and something about CONCERTA. For some of you, somebody needs drug testing or some type of testing. For some of you, I am feeling a big legal case in the field. Take that how it resonates. For some, somebody may be falsely accused. I'm getting a false testimony. Take what resonates and leave what does not jesus we got a chef or a boss and a birthday party what did we say earlier there's a birthday party for some for some of you there could be a birthday party and like someone's gonna cook at the birthday party uh, i told you i felt a little party in the field my lovies yay <laughs> so cute i want to go <laughs> purple rain they didn't mean to cause you pain because you're a brave soul i told you you're a brave soul and someone defends you behind your back because you're a brave soul my lovies because they see that you're a worthy being and not everybody is brave like you they left the door locked on purpose an energy worker left the door locked on purpose somebody uh, locked the door on an energy worker or there was an energy worker who left the door locked on purpose uh open-minded juicing for some of you someone is trying to juice something by pretending that they are open-minded uh they're trying to juice money and sheep they're all sheep it's a bit about something was done in a jeep i'm seeing jeep I'm getting a Forester. Uh, I'm seeing a, a Kia. I'm seeing um, Hyundai. I'm seeing Subaru. Contemporary art. What did we say about contemporary art? I told you, Spirit gave us contemporary art. Uh, an ex-partner. 
you need to ask for more money an associate's degree or AA or for some of you AA or some type of recovery there's a oh my gosh this priver this priver 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 something about Tyler something about Tyler Texas uh, a private investor or an angel fund for some out of Tyler Texas or something like that uh, working late to negotiate working late to negotiate working late negotiate working late to negotiate <laughs> since i was a child since i was a a a, ch a, ch a chitlin a tyler a, ch a chimney a truly like patchouli for some for some of you you could be um uh opening up a brand of essential oils or something about essential oils or you're negotiating for essential oils a veteran a jungle or jungle fever for some for some of you, someone's trying to make a serious decision between two or more things. For some of you, <laughs> if it wasn't clear, your family members cannot be trusted. I am just the messenger. They are over fucking, I think we're almost at a thousand of these. Your family members cannot be trusted, my lovies. They are busted. They cannot be trusted. Since the fucking 70s. <laughs> For some of you, 1970s could be significant. Or the 70s. We got a recent breakup for some. And it's made somebody electrified. For some, somebody did have a recent breakup. Uh, and they're, they're shifting gears. They are shifting gears. They are electrified. Electrified. Can we stuff these in here too, my loveys? Let's see. For some of you, alcohol. I told you I felt the drinking or, um, you know. All that good stuff. For some of you, not too crazy drinking. For others, uh, someone drinks a lot. They drink like a chimney. <laughs> Does that make sense? They just, like smoke like a chimney. For some of you, maybe somebody smokes and drinks. Okay. Okie dokie, smoky, choky. Um, we got pay-per-view for some of you that's what i'm getting like some type of crowdfunding but it's like you got a pay-per-view or something like that something really cute is coming out when it comes to spotify for some of you can have an excellent podcast for some of you again this energy has been present you got all types of gifts share them my lovies share them it's fair something about o'hare withholding love somebody from o'hare or chicago withholding love affection or attention as a manipulation tactic someone in pastry arts or someone that likes pastries i am seeing mexican price 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 as like a name or price as a place but i am seeing mexican the loas the loas the loas the loas want to talk to this person oh this one wants to show too you're a free man from this situation you get to be freed from the slave house for some. When it comes to someone who, uh, um, I don't know. Who's a hoe? That's what's coming in. Who thought it would be easy? I don't know. This person drinks a lot of alcohol too. That's what the spirits are saying. Hold on. Hold on. That's what's coming in in Spanish. Hold on. This person's a hold on. This person likes to, it's like a, a bad, naughty child. A bad naughty adult. The children are innocent. Yeah, the devil energy. Even worse than the fucking devil. Not worse, but you know, their energies. They deserve respect. But these energies are fucking wild. <laughs> these energies are wild. Wild, wild, wild. For some of you, there's an issue. Le Baron and an Aquarius or somebody who... I don't know. This person's also very immature, though, because I'm getting Page of Swords, but this is a... I am getting Page of Swords energy, but a King of Swords involved in a situation, too. But this is reckless energy. When these people torture you, it's worse than the devil's energy. There are a lot of people that are very cocky. They think they have power over the devil. They think they have power over these types of energies. And they're like, you silly humans. This is what's coming in. These people, these energies, when they show up, they're like very well dressed. They, they're, they cause chaos in like a very sinister way. So it's like you think you have power, 
my god it's like succumbing it's this it's just like it's like succumbing to like violence succumbing to like but thinking like you're i don't know this is like Almost very grandiose energy, but these energies are kicking someone's ass and they think that they have control. Someone could be very immature, either in their late teens or their early 20s. But it's like something about their belly. I I just, someone's going to lead themselves, something about promiscuity. Someone's also promiscuous. Someone is going to lead themselves. I, It's like generations of not learning this lesson. When you mess with the barons, it's different because they give you the sensation that you are impervious, that you are um, infallible, that you are without fault, that you could do whatever the fuck you want. You can create havoc on earth. And it's like, and there's almost like an arrogance to it. But they are fucking working with a student. They are working. It's almost like trainers. Like I'm seeing something about cross trainers. Somebody can like cross trainers. I'm seeing Adidas cross trainers. Like somebody is like they are overzealous and jealous. They are out of their league. They are out of their league. Someone can wear those. You know those Adidas pants. The one with like black Adidas pants with like white lines on the side. They are schooling the shit out of this person. So it's like this person could easily lead themselves into being fucked by these energies. I'm talking about like fucking gang raping this, this energy. I'm just a fucking messenger. Because someone's very messy. This is a young man that I'm speaking to. But take that how it resonates. Or this is the energy of the young man around you or take it how it resonates. Someone super cocky. And it's like, we are schooling you. I'm just a messenger. And ace of pentacles so that they can be born again. Someone can lead themselves to death, my lovies. I'm just a fucking messenger. This is, this is Olodumare's energy. When this seed is planted, there was a lot of suffering that came from the seed being planted back into the ground so something can be born again. Materialized again. And someone's not seeing it. It's like they're tired of this person's family. This is, I'm just a messenger. Someone lies a lot. They are tired of this person's father. They're tired of this person's family. I am just the messenger. Families have been present. <laughs> they are peasants, but they act like they're fucking, like, I don't know. They have a sense of entitlement. I'm getting emperor in the reverse. Knight of Wands. Someone's very, like, hasteful. Like, they do things with a lot of passion. But again, I'm getting, like, very young energy. Either someone is, like, in their late teens. Manipulations. Magician energy. See, a page of swords, I told you. And the high priestess. They don't follow their intuition with what they believe. These are all crooked. See, a few people involved in a situation. The mother too, a sister, a father, not being divinely guided in the right way, putting work into something, gossip, slander, talking a lot of shit, uh, emotional manipulations, putting in negative work into situations. These people have a lot of siblings. Somebody has a lot of siblings. There are like four or five siblings here. And a crooked mother or a mother figure. Stalkers, liars. And in some type of dream state and illusion with the nine of cups in this one. And ace of swords. And this is, this is known. I don't know. I'm moving on my lovies. Because we're done. And they have some type of deal with the barons. And the barons don't even want them. I'm getting the mothers a hoe. I'm just a messenger. They're not impressed. 
but these people think they're the best but they're not impressive I'm just a messenger my lovies Jesus I'm not kidding there's someone death and this is like the way it feels it's kind of sad because someone's a page of swords like and it's because of the dad too someone's like a child like someone's just beginning their life death for some this could be an ending of a situation for others i'm feeling like an overzealous like teenager or early someone in their early 20s and they think that because their crooked ass family is something i don't know they're nothing they really are the spirits are looking at them i'm i'm the messenger my love it's not about truth nunez it's the energies i said death for a reason it's like someone's gonna be I this is I don't like this energy. I'm moving out of here, my lovies. I'm moving out of here. Like they're talking about torture. This is what's coming in for what they've been investing in or what they've been giving to. I'm just the messenger. A belief system, a Taurus could be involved in a situation. And this emperor who's a crooked emperor, I feel it. I'm just the messenger. I am just the messenger. It does not feel good, my lovies. I would heed out of their greed i don't know when their need they're needy to the energies i'm channeling energies that are like oh my gosh you think you're big shots this is what's coming in <laughs> i'm just a messenger they don't like what they see my lovies when the spirits don't like something my lovies i would heed I would heed. They thought it would be easy. It doesn't seem like a good idea. Something about putting something in someone's food. To an empress. But this empress is very unique because they, she guards the life and the death. She guards life and death. She creates, but she can destroy. Because what I'm getting is, for some, there's an empress or it's like an ancestor who could drive you crazy. There are energy... My lovies, this is intense. This is intense. Someone's tapping into some shit. There is a group of people doing stupid shit. Stupid, stupid things. And they need to hold back out of greed. Four of Pentacles, out of greed. They need to hold back. They need to hold back. They really do. It's not a game. I'm not playing, my lovies. This is not for entertainment purposes. It's <laughs> really not. It's not. Wow. It's like they need to be obedient. They're deceitful. They're liars. They take pride. And they're reckless. They don't even have permission to do certain things that they do. Even the energies that they're trying to like control and manipulate, they have no permission. They have, that's what's coming in. They have no permission. They're trying to look for faults in others because I'm like almost trying to look for a fault in myself. <laughs> That's what's going on. Like, I'm trying to look for a fault. And the energies are like, you, no one else is at fault except for them. It's like they could be trying to look for a fault in someone else or in the people that they harm or that they want to disarm. And no one else is at fault. I'm just the messenger, my lovey's shit. I'm getting like bath salts. Here we go with this bath salts energy. My loves, be very cautious. There was this guy I used to know. His name was Malene. And the energies drove him insane. One day, this man started even like fucking taking drugs and shit. And we saw, I'm like, what happened? He even tried to rape his sister once. This is this type of energy. I am just the messenger. It's like there's there's going to be an issue in a family. 
There's a confident speaker who is very sincere and someone thought that it would be easy to do something. For some, if you are looking to speak, no, spirit saying don't go there. It's fine. In due time, give yourself time to grow, to become more true in your spirit. Anyone can speak out of sincerity. If you are sincere, whatever you are, your light and your dark balanced, whatever you are, if you are sincere, you have no fears with speaking publicly. But sincerity has to come first. I told you there's an issue with a family. The youth in the family can see the issues, but they are being manipulated. The youth in the family can see the issues, but they are being manipulated. And I know as a youth, it's very difficult to stand up. There's a reason why everything came in earlier. It was very difficult for me to stand up to my mom slapping my three-year-old sister in the face. But something told me, enough is enough. This is too much. You're going to slap a three-year-old in the fucking face so hard? It's like things like that. I get it, but it's it's for some it's critical because it can cost a youth his own fucking life. They don't give a fuck. They'll cry. Oh, my son, my son. For some of you, there's a mother who's on government assistance. There's a mother who's getting government assistance. But there's dishonesty in this situation. There's a demigod who's going to get a new home for some. For some, this is not your responsibility. Your family's karma is also not your responsibility. You need to do your own work and so do they. This is not your responsibility, but they wanted to make it seem like it is, my lovies. Don't fall into the fucking death trap for somebody, especially not a youth. It's kind of sad private for some things that were done in private are not your responsibility people's debts are not your fucking responsibility your father's crooked crimes are not your fucking responsibility for some i'm just the messenger jesus someone knows now of course parents wouldn't like someone that speaks for some of you this could be someone around you and you're speaking certain truths but it's kind of uncomfortable for you but of course they wouldn't fucking like you why would they fucking like you they would oh they want their demons they think they control demons i know now and the letter k that it is not someone's responsibility to do their fucking work struggling with the changes a day late and a dollar short for some somebody struggling with the date with the daily changes, but they were a day late and a dollar short and something about a date rape too. <laughs> My God, Jesus. For some, someone lied. K, someone lied and said they had sex with someone. They never had any type of sexual activity or rapport. It was all made up in someone's head. Uh, they never had any type of sexual activity or rapport. Someone with the initial K. They never had any type of sexual activity or rapport. I'm getting the name Kevin. That could be or Kenneth or Kenny or Kennedy. They never had any type of sexual activity or rapport. It was never sexual, but someone wanted to turn something sexual that was never sexual at all. Someone was just struggling with a change through their life or with their wife. Take that how it resonates and they were looking for a victim. I am just a messenger. Uh, for some of you, there is a breast pump involved in a situation. And for some, someone started a fight for no reason. They just wanted a fight with somebody. They started a fight with no reason. Uh, for some who uh, made up a lie, apparently, about sex. Uh, for others, there's a breast pump. For some of you, somebody could be sensitive in their pregnancy. And they could be starting fights for no reason. For some, somebody's going to be very irritable when it comes to pumping. Someone's going to want to pump. Um like milk from their breast, but um, it's gonna hurt them a lot. It's gonna hurt them a lot and they could even get really irritable and start fights. It's actually kind of cute, actually. <laughs> we got dentures for some. Uh, on the road, for some of you, dentures and on the road. Someone with dentures is on the road. 
for some of someone too much pornography someone's addicted too much pornography it's a fetish for some somebody watches a lot of fetish pornography it's too much and and mind altering drugs of course they would fucking try to like do some crazy shit anyways we got mind altering drugs addicted to porn and fucking fetishes that's a lot my lovies that's a lot imagine with the type of life that makes you see i don't know anyways for some, somebody went to see a practitioner to put curse work on their partner. Uh, because everything that you do turns to gold. So they went to see a practitioner to put uh, work on their partner. To put curse work on their partner to harvest that energy. Isn't that some shit? Well, uh, for some, uh, someone that you met on a dating app. For some of you, this is someone you met on a dating app. We got modern scientists do not understand your powers, so they try to pathologize your gifts. For some of you, I, I'm telling you, this thing comes out all the fucking time for you. It's been a few days of this coming out for some. Uh, popularity contest, because they're just in some type of popularity contest to get research published. That's all they give a fuck about. Um, for some of you, they left the door unlocked on purpose. For some of you, they left the door unlocked on purpose. And they wish that they knew what they know now when they were younger. I wish that I knew what I know now. But they left the door unlocked on purpose. Maybe they did something intuitively told them, leave the door unlocked. <sighs> Jesus. It insists. They did leave the door unlocked on purpose. Somebody really wants you to know that there's an opening. <laughs> I always wondered why I wrote it twice, but for this occasion. For some of you, there's too much betrayal in a situation, but they want you to know that they did leave the door unlocked on purpose. But there's too much betrayal in a situation. They don't want problems. For some of you, uh, I told you, for some, I did feel that one-sided beef spirit gave it to us in the preliminary. They don't want problems. For some of you, someone doesn't want problems with anybody. Uh, this person wants no problems with you. No qualms. Someone was just trying to pit you against another. For some of you, this could be a messy ex or someone someone used to talk to. Uh, and they're just trying to pit you against somebody so that you can fight. Like, it's like when you pit it against, like, it's like children. Like, someone's trying to treat you like a child and you bought into it. My lovies, or somebody around you, take it how it resonates. Somebody actually bought into the illusion that there's a fight. And there's no fight. Sleep at night. There's no fight. They were just trying to pit the pit you against the other so that they could like boost their ego. Look, I got people fighting over me. And in reality, ain't nobody fighting over anybody. You got one person fucking going crazy and the other one ain't even giving two fucks. I'm just the messenger. Because really wanna, what they want to do is secretly sabotage. They really want a secret. For some, there's somebody that sold Luna. Luna is, it's a lunatic. Um, maybe for some of you, uh, Cafe Luna could be significant for some. Or Luna Grill. Somebody wants to pit somebody against somebody else. To stroke their ego. To make themselves feel good. But in reality, because they want to, it's like going to somebody's job. To try to like have them like argue. Um... But really, they want somebody to get fired too. They want to, they're obsessed with, somebody's obsessed with an ex. Or someone that they left behind for somebody else. Take that how it resonates. And they're trying to find dirt. Trying to find dirt to make someone else look bad in their place. They're trying to secretly sabotage somebody. It's like, go find your peace. I don't even know you, my love. This is what it feels like for some. This is someone you don't even know. Or this could be you in this energy, my lovies. I'm just the messenger. It's like someone that doesn't even know somebody. And they're like trying to really like... Again, there are some delusional people in the field right now, my lovies. I need time to heal. I'm just a messenger. I am just a messenger. And what did we say for some? Somebody lied and said and had Sarah. Somebody lied. They lied and said they had sex with someone they did not have sex with. Somebody lied and said they had sex with someone they didn't have sex with. I told you. For some of you, someone's a liar. Uh, for some of you, telepathy involved in a situation. There could be someone that you have a telepathic bond with. Uh, because someone's a unicorn, the endless summer, someone uh, you're going to meet in the summer. For some of you, uh, project forward that for some, this has not happened yet. 
what did we say earlier? White collar crimes. I told you for some white collar crimes using, uh, it is a fucking crime. It's a crime to use the term soulmate twin flames and divine counterparts to, uh, to manipulate emotions. It's a fucking crime. <laughs> it's a crime. It's a crime. They should do time, my love. Spiritually, they're going to do time. It's a fucking crime. It's a crime. White collar crimes using the term soulmate twin flames and divine counterparts to manipulate your emotions. Um, by the way, it hasn't come out yet, but I did have one that also says they use these terms because they actually understand what these terms mean. A lot of people that use these terms, they have no fucking clue. My lovies, for crying out fucking loud, you need health experts to tell you how to take care of your health, your mind, your body, and somehow you know all about soulmates and twin flames and fucking metaphysical comp com competition. Spirit saying is just a competition. You know about metaphysical concepts that are fucking so uh, almost like out of this fucking realm. Yeah, you need health experts to fucking tell you about how to use should function health uh, in like a, in a healthy way. And yet you're the expert on twin flames and ex and, and soulmates and your exes <laughs> and putting hexes on your exes. That's what this is. This is curse work. This is curse work. Using the terms soulmate, twin flames and divine counterparts to manipulate emotions. And it's a crime. It's a white collar crime. <laughs> people that substance abuse i told you for some there's substance abuse in the field i feel it and it needs to heal my lovies clickbait just to get some type of fucking for some of you someone could be addicted to getting like um views or i don't know something like that's coming in so they use clever wording for some of you you could be like a social media marketer take that how it resonates we got a vacation for some of you uh tax returns for some of you somebody's going on vacation with their tax returns okay for some of you you're gonna be hanging out on a porch there are too many lies or omitted for some of you there are too many lies or omitted details in this home for some of you you would rather be outside of the home because there are too many lies or omitted details in this home there are too many lies. For some of you, we did see that. There are too many lies in a situation and it's really destroyed the energy of something. Take that how it resonates. We got an ex-friend. Oh my gosh, we got it. This energy has been present for some. An ex-friend is sincere and would love to reconnect. Genuine love and loyalty. For some of you, you have an ex-friend looking to reconnect with you. This person could uh, pay-per-view. Maybe for some of you, there's something pay-per-view concerning this ex-friend. Oh my gosh, and they look to you for guidance for some. There's a genuine ex-friend that may want to invite you somewhere. May want to... Um, I'm getting subscribed to your channel. For some of you, you have a channel. There's an ex-friend who wants to reconnect in some way, support you, genuine love and loyalty. Maybe this person... Um, it's an ex-friend, so there was a fallout. Um, but maybe there's a chance for some. I'm getting a really... I'm getting a Virgo. That could be significant. But for some of you, withholding love, affection, or attention as a manipulation tactic, maybe you didn't like that there was withholding of love or affection or attention in the situation as a manipulation tactic. Maybe you did a lot more for this friend than they did for you. Maybe you would go out of your way. Maybe you... This is like... The type of friend like you would always have to travel to. You would always have to go out of your way and see. If you never called, they never really called. If you never showed up, they had no interest. You would like travel, you know, across the world for this person. They would never show up for you. Uh, but maybe for some, you didn't realize it was a manipulation tactic. And something about music. Maybe for some of you, you and this friend have a common interest in music. They want to reconnect. 0221.17. For some of you, there's a matchmaker that is, oh my gosh, this energy has been so present. When I wrote this, I'm like, spirits, you know what to do with this. For some of you, there's somebody trying to play a matchmaker, but they're fake and they actually want to sleep with somebody that they were trying to matchmake. For some of you, books. For some of you, alcohol. For some of you, swimwear. I saw that earlier uh, when it was like up here. Um... When Spirit gave us, like, someone that likes to flash or something like that, swimwear for some. Someone could be taking a vacation and swimwear. Or for some of you, you're going with a lover somewhere. Uh, someone needs to admit for some or some type of an admittance or you got to get tickets for something. Uh, 
what did we say earlier? It's something about a cuckold. But what did we say earlier? What did spirit give us? A coven of hurt people wanting to see others suffer. I told you, I am a reader. I am a prophesizer. Spirit has already given us these gifts. Spirit giveth and spirit can take it away. And there is a coven who thinks that they are be be they are they're below. Aw, they think they're below. Okay, aw. I don't feel that bad for them because they're kind of evil. But, aw. <laughs> A coven of hurt people wanting to see others suffer. I told you, my loveys, everything came in for a reason. These people are missing a lot of teeth. Some of them are missing a lot of teeth. They have either fake teeth or veneers. They're missing something about souvenirs. Somebody keeps a lot of souvenirs. Um, a coven of hurt people wanting to see others suffer. Spirit gave it to us earlier for a reason, my loveys. I'm just the messenger. We got a bra for some. Someone needs to get new bras for some. Or someone recently. No, I'm smelling. I'm smelling. Someone's going to go bra shopping for some. Nerve damage for some. For some, somebody has lactation issues. Because earlier the breast pump thing came to. For some, someone has like, it's almost like their, their nipples are always leaking. And they have to change out their bras often. And it's time for new bras for some because of nerve issue. Uh, we got the letter L or I, one or the other. It's L. We got a sexless relationship for some. An atheist. Carrying a baby. And someone's a good woman and someone hates it. She is a good woman and I hate it. I told you, for some of you, um... Meet the parents. <laughs> Torrance, California. For some of you, Torrance. That Torrance, California energy. What's up in Torrance, my loveys? Honest. Because you, someone's honest and they hate you because you're honest for some. I told you, my loveys. I wouldn't worry about these parents that supposedly don't like you. I wouldn't worry too, too much. They're kind of out of touch. Anyways, my lovies, that was wonderful. That was beautiful. You are amazing. You're so beautiful, my lovies. You are really beautiful. Spirit loves you. Spirit thinks you're doing everything great. I would not worry. <laughs> for some of you, you're really like the spiritual work is actually being done. For real, for real. Um, but um, anyways, my lovies, your sister friend loves you and adores you. Loves you and adores you. Your spirit friends love you and adore you. Love you and adore you. Your sister friend loves you and adores you. Loves you and adores you. Spirit friends and your sister friend and your spirit friends and your sister friend. Oh, some of you came with new rhythms today. In love always, in love always, in love always and forever, homies. Peace.